Good morning, welcome to CatX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, November 24th, 2014. In the U.S., the big concern is uh, the situation up in the Buffalo, New York area. The temperature there is uh, right now about 64 degrees. There's massive flooding that's expected. Uh, creeks, riverbeds, and existing rivers are expected to be uh, uh, deluged with the melting seven feet of snow. Here in New Jersey, the temperature right now is 61 degrees. Uh, it's uh, very strange weather. Meanwhile, the uh, talks in Vienna between the uh, West and uh, Iran uh, seem now to be uh, being extended. Uh, there's some talk of a seven-month extension. Uh, it's not been officially confirmed yet. Uh, over the weekend on Saturday, there was a very strong 6.7 earthquake that hit central Japan up in the Nagano area where the Winter Olympics have been held. It does not appear as if there were any deaths. However, uh, a number of buildings collapsed and rescue teams were essentially going door to door pulling out survivors who were under collapsed structures, collapsed buildings and the like. Um, they're now concerned about uh, mudslides and landslides as a result of aftershocks in the area. Uh, Forty people at least have been injured. In southern Morocco, the government is saying now that heavy flooding in that area has killed at least 17 people, with another 18 people missing. In the southern city of Gomen, 13 people were killed by a flash flood that roared through a dry riverbed. There's been flooding around the uh, southern city of Marrakesh, which is a resort city highly popular with European tourists. Tour buses were briefly stranded when roads were cut off. Dozens of homes have been swept away and uh, bridges have been cut by the flooding. In big news in reinsurance, uh, Bermuda-based Renaissance Re has struck a cash and stock deal to acquire its peer Platinum Re for $1.9 billion. It represents a 24% premium to the uh, stock closing price of Platinum on Friday afternoon. Renry is going to pay $1.16 billion in cash and uh, 7.5 million common shares of stock worth about $761 million. Renaissance Re said that its own management team, including CEO Kevin O'Donnell, will remain in place. There was no mention made of Platinum's CEO Michael Price. Uh, O'Donnell said Platinum is a company we know well as we supported its formation and initial public offering back in 2002. Renaissance Re has rapidly been diversifying into casualty treaty business and the acquisition of Platinum uh, ties in with this strategy. The Insurance Commissioner of the State of Connecticut, Thomas Leonardi, is set to join investment bank Evercor. He's going to join the uh, firm as a senior advisor with a focus in, guess what, the insurance industry. Leonardi has been a member of the executive committee of both the NAIC and the International Association of Insurance Supervisors. Uh, on Friday night at about midnight, there was a uh, gas leak apparently that touched off an explosion in the basement of a big London hotel, the Hyatt Regency Churchill in the West End area. The 434-room hotel uh, was fairly full at the time. It caused the evacuation of hundreds of hotel guests as well as uh, uh, about uh, 12 Hyatt employees who were injured. Um, the five-star Hyatt Regency Churchill uh, explosion took place just before midnight on Friday night, and all of the guests were accommodated elsewhere, which was a, a logistical feat uh, for sure. No one has been killed, apparently. Yesterday afternoon, the Charing Cross tube station in London was closed for about an hour and a half after a fire broke out on the track under a train. Passengers were ordered to leave the station after the blaze spread to the front carriage of the 10.55 a.m. southeastern train to Roberts Bridge down in East Sussex. Fifty people who were on board waiting for the train to pull out immediately evacuated. There were immediately fears associated with the uh, potential of a terrorist attack, but it turned out to be a uh, fire caused by uh, faulty undercarriage uh, procedures on that first car. A cesspool full of excrement, of all things, has exploded in the central Chinese city of Zhangjiajie, injuring at least 15 people and knocking down a building. According to the state-run Xinhua News Service, the explosion occurred after a spark from burning waste nearby fell into the cesspool, setting off the methane gas that was in it. So powerful was the blast that it brought down a nearby residential building and damaged four other buildings. Three injured people have been admitted to a hospital. 
And in Belgium, trade unions have opened a month of intermittent strike action by paralyzing the port of Antwerp, which is Europe's second biggest port. They've also slowed train traffic through much of Belgium. This is a uh, protest. Uh, these are protests aimed at the nation's business friendly government and their plans to cut into employees' income, extend working time, and restrict social services. The labor action is set to culminate in a nationwide strike on December 15th. So uh, if you're planning on being in Belgium on that day, don't. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.